Here you are playing with the captain. Welcome to my gaming channel. All right, welcome back, everybody. Here we are back in Battlefield Hardline. I figured I'd show some fun with some explosions. Looking back over my clips, I real I really realized I am quite the RPG whore. So uh, yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and share some of my uh, good explosive moments with you here. I love being able to buy that in the back of the truck. You know, you got yourself that RPG, all you gotta do is buy it. You get yourself an anti-air, what have you, but RPG all around, best bet. As you see, you know, syndicate vehicles, they don't got nothing on you. You can pick them up just about anywhere. But you know, I also wanted to show you how to keep a set of rock-hard steely buns here in Battlefield Hardline. When you're sitting there, you have to find anywhere to go ahead and work out and get some squats in, and especially after you've killed the enemy. I mean, that's a good time. That's why you only see me do it after I make a kill. Kill the enemy, area's clear, and then you are free to go ahead and get a little bit of exercise routine in. And hut, ho, hut, ho, hut, hut, ho, hut. Oh, I could feel the burn. Maybe that's because of the fire. Oh, these things are so fun. Like I said, I may be a little bit of an RPG whore, but... I really hate being on maps when nobody's grabbing the RPGs and all these vehicles are just running havoc on you. If you don't got an RPG whore on your team, then it kind of screws you over a little bit. As I said, for a nominal fee, you can go ahead and purchase these for all your vehicles. Anything with a trunk, of course. And have your choice of uh, anti-air, uh, RPG, or what have you. I love to grab it before I head out. It's, you know, Boy Scout motto, always be prepared. Especially when it comes to explosives. Pretty certain the Boy Scouts uh, blow things up. And as you can see, you do not always need an RPG to blow up that enemy scum fruit. All you need is a little bit of uh, forward momentum, high kinetic energy, and a gumption to smash into that some bitch right in the rear end. See, when I'm running through and I'm Run around the battlefield, not even looking for a vehicle anymore with the RPG. I kind of feel like Elmer Fudd. Very, very quiet. I have an RPG, and it's very dangerous. Good sir, I know you're here. Where are you? Oh, I found a rabbit. Didn't want him to suffer. Had to give him a little bit of hammer time. See, hitting a chopper with an RPG can be a little tricky if it doesn't have a tracking dart on it, but you just gotta watch its X, Y, and Z axis. Take out that tail rotor, and that is a one-shot killer every time, even on the transport choppies. Over here. here, of course, you may notice or may not notice, this is not an RPG. Believe me, this is not an RPG in my hand. These are Molotovs. If the RPG fl uh, fired flaming bags like this, well, that would be quite awesome. Ah, uh, look at that car go. Like Tom Brady in here. Alright, well, I had a shitload of fun making this video, and there's more coming up. Sorry it's so short, but uh, if you liked it, by all means, subscribe, like, and share with your friends. As always, remember, load your guns and keep on gaming. This is the Captain, signing out.